Hello, my name is Becca Boot. Today I'm going to introduce you to Calling Dr. Amelia Bedelia by, by Herman Pierce. Pictures by Lynn Sweat. Calling Dr. Amelia Bedelia. It was a hot day in August. Mr. Rogers was even hotter. Amelia Bedelia, yelled Mr. Rogers, what are you doing? What's wrong, said Amelia Billy. You said it was hot enough to stop, said Mr. Rogers. I said it was hot enough to fry an egg on the sidewalk, not on my cock. Well, said Amelia Billy, you should be glad. I would never fry your eggs on a dirty old sidewalk. Forget about eggs, said Mr. Rogers. You will be late for your appointment with Dr. Horn. Jump in the car. Yes, sir, said Amelia Billy. She bounced up and down on her seat. Sit still, said Mr. Rogers. Good, said Amelia Bedelia. It wasn't easy to jump in your car. Mr. Rogers shook his head. What kind of doctor is Dr. Horton? He asked. The best kind, said Amelia Bedelia. She is a very good doctor. Of course, said Mr. Rogers. I mean, who does Dr. Horton treat? Everyone, said Amelia Bedelia. And she treats good boys and girls to ice cream. They arrived at Dr. Horton's office. Mr. Rogers took out a bottle. What are those pills? said asked Amelia Bedelia. They are for a headache, said Mr. Rogers. Why do you want a headache? said Amelia Bedelia. I have a headache now, said Mr. Rogers. Then why do you want another one? said Amelia Bedelia. I don't, said Mr. Rogers. In fact, I'm getting rid of my biggest headache. Goodbye. Goodbye, said Amelia Bedelia. Thanks for the ride, and I hope you feel better. Thank you, said Mr. Rogers. Call me when you are done. Amelia Bedelia opened the door to Dr. Horton's office. It was a lot noisier than usual. Amelia Bedelia, said Nurse Ames. You are a sight for sore eyes. How terrible, said Amelia Bedelia. I am sorry that your eyes hurt. My eyes are fine, said Nurse Ames. But I am up to my eyeballs and patience. Dr. Horton had to visit the hospital. Would you give me a hand until she gets back? No, said Amelia Bedelia. Both my, both my hands are attached to me, but I would be glad to help you. Right then, the telephone rang. Hello, this is Dr. Horton's office. This is Mrs. Bender, said the wo said a woman. I am calling because I've got hives. That's great, said Amelia Bedelia. I'll bet you have honey. Don't call me honey, said Mrs. B said Mrs. Bender. Do you know what it means to have hives? I sure do. Honey, said Amelia Bedelia. Stop calling me honey, said Mrs. Bender. Bender, I am coming down to see Dr. Horton right now. Good, said Amelia Bedelia. Please, please bring us some honey. Mrs. Bender hung up on her. Guess what, said Amelia Bedelia. Ben Mrs. Bender is coming to see us. Oh my, said Nurse James. Mrs. Bender is a pain in the neck, but her heart is in the right place. Wow, said Amelia Bedelia. It would be, it would be terrible if her heart were down in her foot. This is April, said Nurse James. She is a little scared. Will you, tr will you take our temperature? I will try, said Amelia Bedelia. Give it a shot, said Nurse James. A shot, wailed a April. Don't worry, said Nurse James. It's just a thermometer. Amelia Bedelia, will you tell me the ten temper ten temperature in three minutes? I don't have a watch, said Amelia Bedelia. Look out the window, said Nurse James. The bank across the street has a big clock. Ring! Amelia Bedelia was busier than ever. She answered call after call. I hear a ringing in my ears. A ringing? Maybe you should answer the doorbell. My nose hurts on the bridge. Well, get off that bridge! I got caught some kind of bug. I hope you let it go. Bugs can bite. Oh, Amelia Bedelia, said Nurse James. Don't forget about the temperature. Amelia Bedelia ran to the window. It says 98 degrees. Fine, said Nurse James. 98 is normal. Yes, said Amelia Bedelia. That is normal for August. For August, said Nurse James. Don't you mean for April? Finally, April smiled. The boy came into the office. Excuse me, he said. I'm here for a test. Then you must be lost, said Amelia Bedelia. You have to go to school to take a test. I'm here for a blood test, said the boy. Blood test, said Amelia Bedelia. What kind of crazy test is that? True or false? I wish it were, said the boy. Well, said Amelia Bedelia, let's give it a try. True or false, do you have blood? True, he said. Of course I have blood. Then you pass, said Amelia Bedelia. What if I didn't have blood, said the boy? Then you would pass out, said Amelia Bedelia. Hi, Andy, said Nurse James. We need to draw your blood. Amelia Bedelia, please take Andy.
Andy to the examination room. Look at all this blank paper, said Mary Bear. Andy, why don't you draw your own blood? Mary Bear gave Andy a big red pen. He began to draw. My mom told me, so, said Andy, that when you draw blood, I will feel a little, a little sick. And Mary Bear looked all around. Here, he said, feel this old, old ice cream stick. Those depress your tongue, said Andy. Right you are, said Mary Bear. A stick without ice cream would depress anyone's tongue. That reminds me, said Amelia Bear. She made a phone call. As soon as she hung up, the phone rang again. Dr. Horan's office, said Amelia Bear. I have a problem, said a man. I'm a little horse. A little horse? Ha, said Amelia Bear. You can't fool me. A pony can't talk. I have a frog in my throat, the man croaked. Yuck, said Amelia Bear. Spit it out. Listen to me, he said. I'm as sick as a dog. Make up your mind, said Amelia Bear. Pony, frog, or dog? Maybe you should call a vet. I'm coming down here, he said, there, and she, he said, and hung up. Ring! The phone rang again. Dr. Horton's office, said Mary Bailey. Hello, my office, Dr. Horton. Hi, Dr. Horton, said Mary Bailey. I've been, I have been helping nurse names. How nice of you, said Dr. Horton. So much has happened, said Mary Bailey. But best of all, April is normal for August. April? August? What? said Dr. Horton. Then I gave Andy a blood test, said Amelia Bidoy. You drew Andy's blood? asked Dr. Horton. No, said Andy. Amelia Bidoy. Andy drew his own blood. The table was covered with it. What? said Dr. Horton. Are you treating my patients? Not yet, said Amelia Bidoy. But I will soon. Don't tease me, said, said Dr. Horton. I'm almost out of patients. Oh, no, you're not, said Amelia Bidoy. Your office is full of patients. I'll be right there, said Dr. Horton. The office door burst open. Out of my way, yelled a woman. I am Miss Bender. Just look at my highs. How nice, said Mary Bailey. You came to bring us honey. But first, let's take care of that pain in your neck. And Mary Bailey began to wrap Miss Bender in bandages. But she could, did not get to finish the job. All the patients in Mary Bailey had upset on the phone stormed into the waiting room. Just then, Dr. Horan walked in. Calm down, said Dr. Horan. I will take care of everyone. My throat, oh, my stomachs, my my nose hurts. Stop that ringing, my head aches. Dr. Horan looked at the crowd in her office. Who's first, she asked. Me, said the delivery man. This ice cream is starting to melt. What ice cream, said Dr. Horan. Your ice cream, said Amelia Bailey. I told you I was treating your patients. Dr. Horan laughed. Good for you, she said. My patient patients all deserve a treat. They were enjoying their ice cream when Mr. Rogers arrived. Amelia Bedelia, said Mr. Rogers. I was worried. Why didn't you call? I have been busy, said Amelia Bedelia. Yes, said Dr. Horton. She was a huge help. And you must be Mr. Rogers. Pleased to meet you, said Mr. Rogers. Dr. But Dr. Horton looked at Mr. Rogers. Do you feel okay, said Dr. Horton. You don't look very good. We know that, said Amelia Bidoy. We have gotten used to him. Say, ah, said Dr. Horton. Uh-oh, said Mr. Rogers. Not uh-oh, said Amelia Bidoy. Say, ah, like this. Ah. Ah. Aha, said Dr. Horton. I knew it, Amelia Bidoy. Amelia Bidoy, take Mr. Rogers home and get him into the bed. I am strong, strong as an ox, said Mr. Rogers. Yes, dear, said, said Mrs. Rogers, and as stubborn as a mole with chicken box. Speaking of chicken, said Amelia Bedoya, here's some homemade chicken soup. Yum, said Mr. Rogers. This hits the spot. Which spot, said Amelia Bedoya, that big spot on your cheek, or that little spot on your chin, or maybe that teeny tiny spot on enough, said Mr. Rogers. Okay, said Amelia Bedoya. I will go and wash those eggs off your car. Good idea, said Mr. Rogers. Put some wax on it, too. Sure thing, said Amelia Bidoya. Amelia Bidoya got a pail and some water, and she did not forget the wax. I hope you enjoyed the book, Calling Amelia Bidoya.